Good Sunday morning, everyone. I've got uh, a beautiful, beautiful edition here of Liber Alvel Legis, uh, the Book of the Law. Uh, this is privately printed by the OTO, this particular edition. And uh, it's really pretty. It's got a little thing and everything on it there. Uh, and a little gold along there. But anyway, the reason I bring this up today is because uh, uh, this morning's letters to Ask Babylon uh, concerned uh, the book of the law. I, I try to answer a couple of questions that people have written me uh, concerning uh, things that uh, concern them and disturb them uh, concerning the book of the law. So we'll just move right along. Uh, it's under the, the general uh, heading of Thelema in Politics. My father, Abba Babylon, told me never to discuss religion or politics in a bar. As I grow older, his words take on greater dimensions of wisdom. It's really a pity, though. There are few things I like more than discussing religion and politics, especially when I'm drinking. This is written years ago. I'm a non-drinker now and have been for many years. For over half my life, I've been involved in the magical and administrative adventures of Ordo Templi Orientis. The OTO is a magical society founded around 1900 that embraces the law of Thelema, a philosophical, some say religious, concept based on a received text, Liber al Vel Legis, also known as the Book of the Law. The Book of the Law is unique among holy books because it forbids anyone to interpret it for another. This, in my opinion, is a good thing because many passages, if taken or mistaken literally, can be very unsettling. I burned my first copy the moment I was through reading it. Obviously, I came to terms uh, with my irrational fears, for I'm currently the OTO's U.S. Deputy Grand Master and Archbishop of its ecclesiastical arm, Ecclesia Gnostica Catholica. As such, I get letters. Some of the letters, like the ones to follow, concern statements in the text of the Book of the Law, which, if projected on a political canvas, would suggest some very disturbing things. Couple that with the reputation of the book's scribe, Aleister Crowley, and we have a recipe for freakout. As you will soon see, I come out of the political closet and confess to an attempt to justify my political attitudes. I hope the reader who finds himself or herself on the other end of the political spectrum will not think too unkindly of me. Here's the first letter. Can a Thelemite be a liberal? Dear Babylon, I've been studying books on the Western esoteric tradition for a couple of years and have developed a particular appreciation for Aleister Crowley's works and ideas, with one exception, his socio-political views. I'm a liberal humanist, and I oppose social Darwinism, or the view, let the strong survive and thrive and stamp down the weak and helpless with all my heart. Crowley advocates this view, including Liber Alvel Legis, which is put forth as Holy Writ, which is not to be changed. Even the most conservatives in America insist that they are not social Darwinists. In other words, Crowley is to the right of Attila the Hun. Are the rest of us excluded from being Thelemites, for example, if we're barred from 
Are we barred from initiation in the OTO? I ask this sincerely, since all the rest of Crowley's work is so excellent. And, and with this single exception, I'm wholeheartedly drawn to Thelema. Sincerely, Name Withheld. Dear Name Withheld, Yes, Name Withheld, a liberal can be a Thelemite. Sounds a bit like, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. I consider myself a liberal humanist. Actually, I'm a radical liberal humanist. I guess the polite term in today's American politics is progressive. So is Constance. And so are most of our closest uh, friends in and out of the OTO. I can't speak for them, but my motives are entirely selfish. It's simply that I have come to the conclusion that it is in my best interest to live in a stable environment, undisturbed and unencumbered by violent social unrest, being surrounded, distracted and menaced by hungry, unhappy, unhealthy, out of work, homeless, downtrodden fellow citizens is not conducive to my efforts to quietly pursue my spiritual great work. I would venture to guess that if we were to poll the 3,000 plus members of the order in the world, something which would never happen, we would most likely discover at least a respectable percentage of members who would probably consider themselves liberal humor, uh, humanists or something like that. The majority of those remaining would probably consider themselves libertarians, independents, or anarchists. We even count as our dear brothers in Thelema an outrageously entertaining and provocative right-wing radio talk show host and possibly the next Republican lieutenant governor of a state I'll leave unnamed. That being said, in the OTO and ultimately in Thelema, one's politics is entirely a personal matter. It has to be. In my opinion, there can't be a Thelemic political party unless it's one that told its party members to vote for whomever they personally preferred and support the programs they personally agree with. Anything less would be like saying, we believe there is no law beyond do what thou wilt, and we want a law to make you believe that too. Of course, it's likely that many individuals who embrace the Lima's philosophy of personal liberty would want to live in an environment that allows them and all others this freedom. Naturally, many of us tend to support measures, candidates, and parties that promise strong civil liberties and such. But the source of these attitudes are most often not dictated by the tenets of Thelema, per se, but from the ideals of youthful ideal idealism, or our intelligent observation, or our mature common sense, or simply our sense of human decency. It is possible owing to, it is possible, not probable, it is possible, owing to the infinite and unknown factors of karma or personal issues that a person might indeed need to spend a season or a lifetime as a social Darwinist or a Nazi or other such creatures in order to do his or her will in this incarnation. It's not for any of us to judge on that level. I admire Crowley too. He's my holy prophet. 
but I'm not obliged to comb my hair or select my wardrobe or my diet or my lovers or vote the way he did. Thelema is bigger than Aleister Crowley. And no one can tell you how to interpret the book of the law. If anyone ever does, you should feel empowered to give them a hearty you. I hope this has been helpful. Babylon. Now I got a really good letter back from Name Withheld, and I'll answer that one too. But, but here's uh, his answer back. Hello, and thank you for your response. However, in reading your response to my question, I realized that I didn't ask my question clearly or precisely enough. So if you bear with me, I'll try to ask it again. The OTO website states, if you decide to pr pursue full membership as a first degree, you will be stating that you accept the Book of the Law as written without wishing to make changes in it. I'm sure you'll recognize the following as quotations from the Book of the Law. The kings of the earth shall be kings forever. The slaves shall serve. Stamp down the rich, wretched and the weak. This is the law of the strong. This is our law and the joy of the world. Mercy be let off. Damn them who pity. Kill and torture, spare not, be upon them. We are not for the poor and sad. The lords of the earth are our kinsfolk. Ye are against the people, O my chosen. Pity not the fallen, I never knew them. I am not for them, I console not. I hate the consoled and the consoler. Now, these are all from chapter 3, by the way. If, he asks, if many OTO members are progressive or liberal humanists, how do they bring themselves to accept such quotes as the above? A human society run along such lines would be hell on earth. Since Reagan was elected, our own country has moved in that direction. It has become just that for many people. Every man for himself, and let the devil take the hindmost. I thought we progressives were, supposed, were opposed to having human society operate according to the law of the jungle. And how can the above quotes be squared with the OTO's repeated proclamations in, the, in their literature and on their website of brotherhood as something the organization advocates? I mean no, no offense. I am sincerely puzzled. I have found Crowley's ideas on practically every other subject to be so outstanding, and I was starting to dream of becoming an OTO member. Yours truly, name withheld. Hi again, this is my answer. Hi again. The answer for me at least is very simple. I consider and meditate upon such passages as metaphors concerning the nature of my own being, my own struggles, my own flaws and aspirations. If I take it beyond that, it ceases to be a holy book and becomes no better than the Bible or the Koran. For me, the projected the projection of scriptural passage upon the world of politics is the major cause of most of the world's ills. My God, I'm a vegetarian too. Do you think I actually think that the book of the law is telling me to eat human flesh or sacrifice cattle and, ch and children? Of course, there will always be people who are stupid enough to do such things. I'm happy to say I'm against those people. 
Accepting the book of the law without wishing to make changes in it does not suggest that you are accepting Crowley's or anyone else's interpretation of what that means. It does suggest that you are willing to search for truth everywhere. even in a book you may never understand and which may scare the shit out of you. I can't tell you or anyone else how to interpret the book of the law, and I certainly will not burden anyone with my moment-to-moment -moment interpretations. But with all due respect, I believe you were missing a very big point here. I certainly wouldn't look to Liber Al or the Bible or the Torah or the Koran or the Tao Te Ching or the Book of Mormon or any sacred scripture as a political manifesto. Yikes! From a magical or even Zen perspective, an idea is only true in so much as it contains within itself its own opposite. Not everyone resonates to the idea of finding light even in the darkness. The Book of the Law certainly does a good job of initially turning off those who would not grasp this old, this age-old and fundamental concept. And perhaps it needs to. I just thank the gods that when on election day, your vote and my vote probably won't cancel each other out. My best, Babylon. Tomorrow, Monday, we will uh, uh, take up a new section, a section on angels and demons. So in the meantime, I remind you that starting Wednesday, we, I have a, a three-week-in-a-row uh, uh, Zoom uh, presentation on Kabbalah initiation. Uh, it has filled very, very fast. And uh, uh, check, the, check the link on my site uh, if you still want to register uh, for that. There is time at the moment. Uh, and until then, until tomorrow, continue to be good to yourself and be good to each other. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will. Bye.